Head and neck cancer is any tumor that arises inside the mouth or the throat. Um, these are areas that are vitally important for swallowing and breathing and that affect e each one of us uh, every day. And so it's really important that we, as the doctors treating patients with head and neck cancer, really develop a, a very personalized plan for how to take care of that tumor and get rid of it, but also to pres preserve those important functions of speech and swallowing. Warfarin-Joe cancer is any tumor that arises in the back of the throat. It's a tumor that might arise in what's called the base of the tongue or the tonsil area. The same tonsil that is operated on for many kids for infections, we now know is the site of potential tumors uh, that may develop in this area. It's really having strength across the board. So really experienced pathologists, great radiologists, incredible head and neck radiation oncologists like Dr. Lee and Hara and Cheng and Liu, and also medical oncologists who, who, who treat patients with chemotherapy like Dimitri Kalivas and Harlan Pinto. I think you need to have all those medical and surgical specialists together who are equally strong and accomplished. I consider optimal multidisciplinary care for head and neck cancer include not only the physicians who take care of the patient, but also the folks who are involved in the day-to-day -day care. These include the nurses, the dietitians, the dentist, a prosthodontist, a nutritionist, and social worker. The reason it's optimal is because we take care of all aspects of patient needs during the treatment. It is an intensive treatment the patient goes through for us to cure their cancer and they need a lot of support during this treatment and to have such a team to provide support to these patients uh, is important for the patient to be able to get through the treatment with less side effects as well as allow them to recover much better and to provide more support to them and their family members. Many patients come and they ask me, can I be treated by my doctor back in my hometown? And what are the advantages of coming to a place like Stanford? And my answer to that is multidisciplinary care. Multidisciplinary care is many people with very specific expertise all working to take care of you. What I mean by that is when a patient of mine is struggling with a nutritional problem, the registered dietitian can come and see them that very same day with me. Bringing together large teams like that, that includes surgeons and radiation oncologists and social workers and medical oncologists and nutritionists and dental experts, etc., is critical and in fact what multidisciplinary care is. One of the things that's unique about Stanford's head and neck oncology program is the way patients come in to see us. Many cancer centers have something called a tumor board, which is where a number of physicians review a patient's situation and come up with a recommendation. At Stanford, we do that live. We actually bring patients in. They're seen by an enormous number of physicians in one morning. It can be a long morning, but the advantage of that is all of us get immediate side-by-side -side look at the patient. The patient can talk with each of us and we can talk together. That's something that really I think makes Stanford stand out. In addition to the folks that I've mentioned before that I consider to be the optimal multidisciplinary care, uh, participating in the tumor ward including the radiologist who specialize in head and neck cancer and help us to interpret all the scans that have been done on patient as well as the pathologist who look at the tissue, the biopsy, to make sure that we get the diagnosis right. They come here once and they see all three specialties together. We discuss their case in real time, review their pathology slide, look at their imaging study, and then we return back to tell the patient the diagnosis, our treatment recommendation then and there. So it's almost like a one-stop visit for them with comprehensive evaluation of their case and discussion of their treatment management. In addition, we also discussed cases that we've seen without being seen by others and discuss further recommendation of management or difficult cases that we may have questions on. I think what makes a place like Stanford special though is what I would call synergy. It's the bringing together of people who focus on problems as a group and they focus on only one problem. I think it's well acknowledged in almost any industry that specialization matters. 
It's been shown in many different types of healthcare treatment that people that do a lot of one thing tend to do it best as compared to someone that does a lot of stuff. Um, when I talked earlier about he treating head and neck cancers, that's really all I treat. And my colleagues in radiation and in surgery who treat head and neck cancers, that's all they treat. We have people that are looking at cutting edge therapies in immunology, cutting edge therapies in stem cell research. And although I don't do that sort of research myself, when it comes time to test these new uh, treatments in patients, it's going to happen here, it's going, and it's going to happen here first. That's why I'm excited about being here, and that's why I think patients should come here. If there's one thing I want patients with oropharynx cancer to remember, is that the vast majority of those patients are cured forever, and their tumor doesn't come back. And that, I think, as you're starting on a journey of cancer treatment, is what you need to keep in mind.